Okay? Hi, my name is Bill Thiessen, and I'd like to present to you a product that we called Frigitech. Frigitech is a polarized refrigerant oil additive designed to work in air conditioning and refrigeration systems of all sizes and all types, including ammonia systems. Frigitech was designed about 22, 23 years ago by a chemical engineer at Rice University down in Houston, Texas, and an HVAC contractor also in Houston, Texas. They combined and worked together for about three and a half years before they came up with this product. Actually did 328 different chemical formulations before they came up with it. And the purpose of the product was strictly to reduce the wear and tear in compressors so that the maintenance costs would go down on the equipment. And uh, along with that, we found that it also has a tremendous energy savings concept. So we use the product for both for our customers, number one in our case, to reduce the energy consumption, but also number two, to reduce your maintenance and, and uh, replacement costs. So it's a rather unique and interesting process, product. What I'd like to do is demonstrate it for you, and I'm going to compare Sunasol 3GS, which is the industrial standard lubricant used in all air conditioning systems pretty much in the United States at this point in time. And then I'm going to add to it Frigitech, and I've got them divided in little bottles. You can see color-wise they look virtually the same. Frigitech is an additive. You add it by 5% by volume on regular AC systems and ammonia systems about 8%. It is an additive only. You don't replace the standard oil you add it to. It can be mixed and blended to whatever type of oil, whether a mineral oil or a synthetic oil that you have in your facility. Uh, whether you're using ammonia or whether you're using Freon, that doesn't matter. Even uh, um, ice arenas with brine systems, it works good for those too. What I have here set up very simply is a little electric motor that's driving a pulley and a shaft. I can turn it on here. As it turns that pulley here, you can see on this side I have a bearing. And you can see that bearing is brand new. There's no scores or anything on it. If you close up on that bearing, you can see. And what I'm going to do is use a torque wrench to apply pressure with that bearing. You'll notice this one's locked and can't turn. And we're going to test the lubricity of the Sunascol standard industrial oil and then the Sunascol added together with the Frigitech to see how it helps reduce your cost both electrically and maintenance wise. I have a little electric meter over here showing me the amperage drawing on this motor and right now we're drawing, oh let me see, about four and a, four and a quarter, four and a half amps. Now for safety purposes I am going to tuck in my tie, I don't want to get caught in that pulley. And then I'm going to take the Sunascol and I have a little oil reservoir down here, and I'm going to add enough oil so that there is constant oil flow over the top of that. And if I put my finger here and you can close up, you can see the oil build up on my finger. So there's plenty of oil on that at all times. That's just the Sunascol 3GS, which is the industrial standard air conditioning oil in your units right now. So I've got my bearing attached. I am going to add the torque wrench and then I'm going to start applying pressure and there's three things that are going to happen here as we do it number one you're going to see the amp drop uh, the amps grow I'm actually going to have to change to another scale uh, number two you watch the torque here you're going to find out just exactly how many pounds of pressure it takes to lock up this motor that's a quarter horsepower motor and number three you're going to hear a tremendous amount of noise so please here we go Let's uh, concentrate on the amperage first while I do this. Amperage goes off the scale. I'm going to change it up one scale because we haven't locked up yet. Now we're on the 15 amp scale, down around four. You can hear a tremendous amount of noise. And we actually lock up the motor. And if you can home here and see the torque, it's about 15 or 16 pounds of torque when it locks up. About 15, 16 pounds of torque and we can lock up that motor. Tremendous amount of noise at the same time. Okay, if we take a look at this bearing here, this is the industrial oil supplied by the manufacturer, recommended to be in this air conditioning unit. And if you look real close here, you can see we took a big gouge out of that bearing. You also see it's not very smooth, it's quite hot. If you run your fingertip over it, it's quite rough too. 
I'm going to take this and use this as my base to compare it to, and I'm going to turn this bearing 90 degrees so that I actually have another clean surface. Now, I'm going to take and make another gouge about the same size, so then I can take and use it as used equipment, and then at that point I'm going to add some Frigitech and see what kind of difference it makes to that. So, let's go ahead and make another gouge, just like we had. I'm purposely letting it run without locking up, lots of noise. I'm trying to get that gouge going there. Again, torque-wise, it locks up about 15 to 16 pounds, so it doesn't take all that much. We even get a little bit of smoke coming here off the bearings itself because of the heat it's generating. Okay, right now we have a gouge about the same size as what we had before. You can see it's pretty rough and it's pretty big. And I'm going to take Frigitech and I'm going to add it by volume about 5-6%. So I'm not going to add near as much as I had of the oil in there to start with. Just a little bit. Now we're going to go back on that same thing and show you what happens to used equipment when you add Frigitech. I want you to watch the ammeter to start with and tell me what happens there as I take this up to 15 pounds. We really haven't moved yet. Torque-wise, I'm actually running about uh, 25 pounds right now. Can you see that over here? It's still running. It's also quite a bit quieter. And I'm not moved the, the uh, amperage at all there. We're going to add a little more torque here. You can see it's still running. Still quiet. And we're about 45 pounds. Amperage-wise, I'm running around 5 amps. So the wear and tear of the extra strain, I'm not increasing the amperage on it, even though I'm literally double what it took, almost three times what it took to lock up before. Now going back to the bearing yourself, you can see that it's polished up, it's smoother. We have literally taken off the friction edges, made it nice and smooth and, and very, very easy to turn. Now, I'm going to go a little step farther here. I'm going to take that bearing one more point another 90 degrees. At this point in time, if I had a brand new air conditioner, I'd have equipment that looked like this. This one showed you Frigitech with used air conditioner. Obviously, it's going to polish up the equipment. It's going to bond to the metal. It's going to make it smoother, less friction, and less electricity. But what we really want to see is it's going to make less wear and tear on the equipment. Well, let's do that now. This is like a brand new piece. And let's see. There's 25 pounds of torque. Remember, we were locking up into 15 to 16 pounds before. Amperage-wise, I've barely crawled over four. I'm going to go ahead and put a fair bit more torque on here. I'm getting to about 45 right now. We're still running, still operating. I'm going to go a little bit farther, see how far we can actually go with this. Boy, that got really quiet. There we are at about uh, 55 pounds of torque. Motor's still running, still turning. There we are, about 65 pounds torque. We're now up to about five and a half, maybe six amps. The torque wrench only goes as far as 75 pounds. I don't know if I can get that far or not. Look at that, we're at 75 pounds torque. The motor's still running, Frigitech's there. Now, what do you think has happened to our bearing through that? How's that bearing look and the score and the damage to that versus what we had the first time we were here, which is basically this one over on this side. Dramatic reduction in wear and tear. The protection is both heat and friction oriented. Frigitech molecularly bonds to the metal, sticks there. Heat, pressure, it does its job, eliminates the friction. Literally, we have gone about 15 to 1600 times um, or 15 to 1600 percent improvement in lubricity and dramatic reduction in the wear of the equipment. I'd like to demonstrate one step farther with Frigitech right now. Most people don't ever run their equipment without oil, but I just made the comment that Frigitech molecularly bonds to the metal and protects. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take that oil cup and reservoir off of there. I'm going to actually dry the bearing so I don't have excess still there and then I'm going to rotate that again another 90 degrees as you can see now this is again a brand new surface that we're working with 
15 pounds of torque is where we locked up before. We took a tremendous gouge and such there. Now we have no oil whatsoever going on. We're going to do the same test. Look at that. It's still running. Amperage is still down there. We're at 25 pounds of torque, and I can literally sit here all day long and have this run. You'll notice how quiet it is, how efficient it runs. We don't have smoke and heat. We don't have the noise. It's doing a tremendous job protecting that. And to prove it, let's take a look at the bearing and see what happens to it. What do you see there? Literally, almost no wear and tear on it. Now, Frigitech does two things. That's the most important thing I want to point out to you is that Frigitech will molecularly bond to the metal and it will re dramatically reduce the wear and tear of your equipment. So your equipment's going to have its life extended. Uh, literally, if it's an older unit, about half, about double what you would anticipate it has left in its life. If it's a brand new unit, literally double it about twice. Frigitech will not violate any warranties because it is molecularly bonded to the metal. It's matched to the uh, lubricant that you're using, whether Sunascol or, or something else. So it is only an additive to it, does not violate your manufacturer's warranty. The other thing that it did, molecularly bonding, where it gets the dramatic energy savings is number one, by reduction of friction, but number two, that bonding process, as it moves through the condenser and evaporator coils, it bonds to the metal and doesn't allow the oil and dirt to build up on the walls of your evaporator and your condenser. So your heat transfer is improved. It takes and cleans it out literally. If you have an older unit, it will clean it out. Your uh, filter may need to be changed off a couple of days afterwards, but it's going to molecularly bond to that, clean it out, and allow an improvement in the heat transfer. When you have an improvement in your heat transfer, that literally means that the thermostat is satisfied faster. When the thermostat is satisfied, the unit shuts down because you've reached the temperature you want in the room. As that happens, you now have 100% savings for every single minute that that unit is not running that it used to run before. So a combination of the reduction in wear and tear on the equipment, the increase in the, lu in the lubricity of the oil, maintenance is, is down, and then also the efficiency of the unit in how it uh, transfers heat through your evaporator and condenser coils gives you a dramatic increase in energy. And quite literally, we calculate about 8 to 10 percent. We calculate 8 percent. Reality, we get in most cases between 10 and 13 percent energy savings just from the Frigitech alone. If you take the Frigitech and you combine it with our Easy Liner product, you get a tremendous benefit of reduced amperage from the Easy Liner and reduced wear and tear, as well as improved heat transfer from the Frigitech in your, in your equipment. We have this in every type of refrigeration system you can think of, all kinds of cooling systems, air conditioning systems. has been a tremendous product. It is on the uh, market. It has been for about 18 years now, and you can check it up if you'd like to go further researching-wise at www.frigitech.com. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed the presentation and hope you've learned something.